I'm Rob Cole, I'm Chair of Synergy and Landgate, they're both government trading enterprises. I'm also a non-executive director of two listed public companies. In the not-for-profit sector, I'm a, a non-executive director of St Bartholomew's House, which is dedicated to eliminating homelessness. I've been a, a, in the non-executive space for about five years, um, and prior to that I had an e executive career in the oil and gas industry and previously in law. First, by challenging it when I see it in real time. It's important to challenge gender bias uh, when you see it. And it's doubly important when you're at a senior level in the organisation that you set the tone from the top. But as a director, when you don't see it, you've got to seek out the information. You've got to ask the organisation for data and then interrogate it. So why can't we get to 50-50 overall? Why are more men getting promotions than women? Why are more acting roles being handed to men than women? So get the data and interrogate it. But the third thing here is that as chair of the board, I have a really important role to play um, in two respects. First, by structuring your board in the right way in the first place, ensuring you've got your diversity on the board. And once you have diversity in the room, it's no use doing that if you're not guiding the discussion to bring out the different views, the richness of diversity in the room to really challenge underlying hidden assumptions, stereotypes that might be leading to um, systemic gender bias in the, in the workforce. So the board can and should play a critical role in eliminating gender bias. It's personal. Fairness and respect are two of my fundamental core values. I really don't care whether someone's dealing with me, chair of the board, a uh, non-executive director, managing director, senior executive, someone who's been in the workforce for 30 years or someone entering the workplace in the most junior uh, position for the first time. The person deserves the same standard of fairness and respect as a human being. And gender bias is fundamentally inconsistent with that value of fairness and respect. But in terms of impact on business, uh, gender bias holds organisations back. Business is, is competitive. Business is run by people and there's a competition to get the best people. In order to attract, uh, retain and promote the best people, you need to be doing so systemically based on merit over time. Gender bias works against that. Gender bias prevents organisations from realising their full potential, not just individuals, and that's bad for business.